Hello, my name is Andy Weiss here. I'm the PGA Golf Professional at Eaglewood Golf Course, Langley Air Force Base. And today's video tip is going to be about proper grip. Our grip is extremely important because it's the only physical link we have to the golf club. The way we grip the club is going to very much affect how we control the club head, more importantly, the club face. You might have heard a lot of different terminology in terms of grip, strong grip, weak grip, neutral grip, cross-handed grip, lots of different types of grips. It's important that we grip the club properly for the way our body is made. And what I mean by that, if you stand just very relaxed with your arms hanging down next to your side, notice how your hands are hanging. Some people's hands are, palms are facing back, some are facing forward, some are facing their side, some like mine are tilted in a little bit. That is all in your link of your arm to your body and how your arm hangs. Everybody's a little bit different. But when we just hang naturally and then we bring our hand out in front of us, that position of our hand is how we want to place it on the grip. So notice where your palm is facing. Most people, when they bring their hand right out in front of them, it's going to put the grip, right hand on the grip so the palm is facing towards the target. That would be known as what is a neutral grip. So when you're relaxed and you bring your arm right out in front of you and then place that on the grip, that is, would be a neutral grip for you. Now, if your hand is too much under the club, that is what's known as a strong grip. And what results in that is a closed club face at impact. Because when we move our arms around our body, when they come back in front of us, they just naturally want to come to that position that they were in when you brought your hand naturally back up. That's your natural body condition or position. So that's where we want to get to. Your body is naturally going to want to get back to that position. So if my hand is too far under my club, when I come back to that neutral position with my hand, you can see my club face is going to be closed. If it's in that neutral position, when I swing and I come back to that position, you can see that club face is square. Now the opposite, if my hand is too much on top of the club, now when I come back to that neutral position, my club face is open. So you can see in that link to your club face, how your hand being too much under or too much over can hurt your face angle at impact. So what we do is we start to compensate. As we begin to hit shots and we continually see the ball go to the left, or we continue to see the ball go to the right, we start to manipulate our swing and our hands, and we start to put a lot of torque and tension on our forearm muscles, our ligaments, our tendons. We start to overstretch or over manipulate those muscles and tendons so that we actually start to do damage and harm to our bodies. So what we want to do is get that neutral position, get that club coming back to that neutral, natural, square position. A great way to do this is swing with your eyes closed and stop when you get to that position in front of you and check where the club face is. So take your grip and your stance, close your eyes, make your swing, and come back and see where are you? Are you square, are you closed, or are you open? So check out those drills, check out your own body position, see how it links to your grip, and I guarantee that will help you to hit a straighter golf shot.